All right, so we're lucky enough to be working with our preserved and plastinated cadaver. In this case, it's the upper limb. And I always like to take a moment to just think about this particular individual and the many individuals who've donated their bodies so we can learn so much about how the anatomy and physiology of our body works. And if you want more information about donating your body or about the process of plastination, please look to the description of the video. Um, so in this case, we've got an upper limb and we're looking at sort of we're looking at it from anteriorly or from the front, but the back part of the scapula, which would be on the back part of the body, that's the clavicle coming around the front. This is all a scapula back here, of course, with the muscles in place. And that's what we want to focus on is the muscles of the shoulder that help either hold the scapula in place or move the upper limb at the shoulder joint. So the most I think easiest way to orient to this is the big rounded part of the shoulder which has the deltoid muscle. And that muscle, if it shortens, is going to move the limb away from the body or AB abduct the upper limb. Okay, so that's the big deltoid muscle. As we continue around the back here, we can see some of those muscles that hold the scapula in place that have been cut away, the trapezius muscle, just the ed edges of the trapezius muscle that would go to the spinal, to the vertebral column and help to hold the scapula in place. Um, behind the trapezius or kind of on, on the superficial surface of the scapula, you'd have the spine of the, this is the spine of the scapula running right down here. And this big muscle up here is the supraspinatus muscle. And it's gonna go to the end of the humerus and form part of that rotator cuff series of muscles that rotate the upper limb along its long axis. The supraspinatus down here under there is the infraspinatus and also the teres minor muscle. Okay. If we come back around to the anterior aspect, we can also see another rotator cuff muscle on the deep surface of the scapula. That's why it's the subscapularis muscle. That one would go out and of course go to the head of the humerus and help to rotate the upper limb medially or towards the midline. So those are all rotator cuff muscles, really nice to see. This is the um, cut pectoralis major muscle, which comes to right, cover most of the anterior part of the breast and out to the upper limb. And that one, when the limb is out abducted, it's gonna pull it back in or adduct the upper limb. So that's pretty much what we can see of the shoulder muscles. Just a quick review, this is looking anteriorly. You've got this, the clavicle coming off here and going around to the back articulating at the acromion process right there with the entire scapula and of course that nice rounded what I sometimes call shoulder tad bad muscle on the rounded part of the shoulder the deltoid coming down here on the back you can see the trapezius muscle the spine of the scapula with these rotator cuff muscles the supraspinatus the infraspinatus and the teres minor and then if we come back around to the front on the under surface or deep surface of the scapula, the subscapularis muscle completing the rotator cuff. And then this would be the cut pectoralis major muscle that helps to adduct um, the upper limb. That's the muscles of the shoulder.